Hey everybody, we're going to be playing a little bit of Quinn ADC gameplay, and oh, it has been frustrating so far. Um, trying to play ADC just so that I actually get a chance to try and carry, because ADCs do do the most damage in the game after all. Uh, I am playing Quinn, that's actually kind of fine, um, to be quite honest, because well... Quinn can be really strong early, and she has great roam potential, so we'll probably be utilizing that for sure. But uh, regardless, it's it's been it's been a really irritating time just because it sucks playing ADC when absolutely no one peels, which is the reason I don't typically play it. But unfortunately. Uh, it is the way to climb, at least in lower elos, by being a good ADC and out damaging everyone in team fights. So, you know. The other thing I've noticed a lot uh, while I've been playing on my Smurfs is that people just don't know how to team fight. It's kind of weird. Or at least my teams don't. Their teams do, but my teams don't. I mean, there is a lot that goes into team fighting, to be fair, but. I do want to try for a hard push. <laughs> like I said, I really want to try for a hard push because like... Being aggressive early can be fun. I'm actually going to take W second for trading power. Shoot, that didn't hit. Unfortunate. I want Velkos to not be playing so passive though. I'm surprised Jarvan didn't try and level 2 gank, because that's like been really popular for Jarvans to do. I am going Conquer, by the way, and it might seem a little weird, but the thing is that Qu Quinn does a lot of like. A lot of her combo relies on her spells, so it'll allow me... It will allow me to be able to do this. And we are in an aggressive position, but I'm not really that afraid of a J4 gank. Like, I think I could probably pull off the 2v3. Especially with Caitlyn's health. I knew that binding was coming. Ooh. There we go. Oh. It's been a while since I played Quinn. So I guess I misunderestimate I underestimate some of the damage that she actually does. I'm gonna be maxing Q in this lane because it is a Caitlyn. In lanes where the ADC can, is a little bit closer, I wouldn't max Q, but because because ADC is pretty close, I am maxing Q. Should be able to get a play and then back.
I'm actually just trying to keep the push. Because the thing is, is like, now that Morgana's backed, she's going to miss experience. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Oh, here's the question. Lethality first or life still? I think we just go life still, honestly. I will get crits a little bit later on, but I want to go for life still first, especially since I am going Conqueror build. It's kind of like Draven. <laughs> go for a Bloodthirster first and then just one lane. Oh, really? I wish Kane had ganked like a little bit later. That's not really how you bind but the problem is, is like Caitlyn actually gets use out of her level six in lane I don't I mean I kind of get it use of out of it to get back to lane and to roam but There's probably, there's a Talon. I, I literally can't do anything for you, friend. You got binded. Morgana Caitlyn's definitely an obnoxious lane. Good kill. That was so much burned for just me. And Kane, like, straight up just left. He could have stayed. I really hope he's going... Red Kane and not Shadow Assassin Kane, because we really need the Red Kane. Our CC otherwise is kind of lacking.
man, if that had hit, that would have been amazing. Caitlyn's gotten ahead in farm, which is unfortunate. If only Velkaz was able to land his poke better. This lane would be super easy. I like how Morgana is trying to land those out of vision bindings. See, this would be the time to go aggressive. There was no focus there. Hardcore no focus there. Okay, I need my BF sword. Great, Caitlyn's gotten ahead now because, well, A, my support doesn't know what to do, and B, so many roams from Talon. None from really our mid laner either. Oh, he went blue cane, of course. How unfortunate. An enemy has been slain. We got Rift Herald. Like, Caitlyn's just walking at me, and Velkaz is doing nothing. I hate supports in this elo, man. They're just so bad. He can't hit a single thing, he shouldn't be playing Velkaz. Oh, 
Okay, I was waiting for the binding. Also, junglers in the CLO don't know how to lane gank, I've noticed. I need to back. I have full bloodthirster anyway. I was gonna say, you better, like, straight up blow her up because you can't go blue cane and then just be afraid to engage. Easy. Easy kill. Oh, she didn't hit all of the casters. Okay, I need to start going and working on Essence Reaver. Because that's going to be like a huge part of my ability to stay sustained in mana. Oh, the only bad thing about Quinn. <laughs> no mana. I like how that's on 16 HP. Like, literally a Talon auto would have taken it out, but he just got too scared, I guess. Okay, please kill him. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. I was about to say, I better not have died for nothing.
I'm coming and I'm being carried by bird. That's annoying. I just can't do it with passive supports. It's not my playstyle. There we go. Should be able to just regular auto attack now. Ah. Maybe not. I do like that Essence Weaver is only 100 combined cost. Also, Infernal Drake is like really good on Quinn. Amplifies my burst. Well... <laughs> they... Well, Talon actually does try and find me. I'm gonna go top when I'm alive. See, this is what I mean, is that it sucks being an ADC because you don't have, like, who on our team can peel for me right now? Actually, I need to take red. Is the Harrier damage being applied after the auto has already gone through? Kinda weird of Vladimir to not be there.
Idiot. Talent entered. How funny. Okay, I do need to start getting static shiv though. Oh, they've got an infernal. <laughs> Rip. I was like, oh, they only got one ocean, so that's not that bad. But no, they have a mountain drake and an infernal. That's a little bit unfortunate. Do, do, do. Talon is bot side, so like this is free. He doesn't have boots and mobility, so he can't get here super fast. Look at her. Can you kill her? Please? Come on, I did so much damage to her. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. It just, team doesn't understand how to properly target. I don't even know who they were going after, but there was a Caitlyn like straight up just right there. We have Nasus, so we should be able to end. Yeah, okay, sure, now he get, does it, after I already lose the assist gold, but we have an assist big, so... Well, I mean, that's a Quinn ADC gameplay. A little bit rough, but hey, we won. See you guys later. Bye.